Hello, my name is Blair and welcome to another OS. Today, we're gonna take a look into Peppermint OS, which is less is more. So, we are now on our desktop right now of our Peppermint OS, which is GNU Linux operating system kernel. And we have this uh, information that we are welcoming to the peppermint we have the suggested the peppermint hub we also have the pep docs and of course the build logs and we also have some peppermint community right here if we have some questions we could like join this community and of course ask about and have a conversation so let's try to look into this okay uh, but before that we have to go to the website first so this is the website that they have uh, let me see so this is the peppermint os.com and they have all this information uh, that you need like uh, the information that what what it is uh, the peppermint uh, operating system provides user a simplicity in a less but more and of course they have also the peppermintmatrix.org at the same time source forge they also have the mastodon the codeberg and the docs so let's go down right here uh, let me see no no more okay no more so let's go to the download page so we have this as the genome flashback at same time fxce which is uh, their main desktop environment but they still have the genome flashback build which is still based on the debian and the debian so you can choose which one of course I choose the FXCE right now so I already download that's why I'm here in the peppermint OS right now so as you can see this is the Macedon which is the fostodon.org which is the instance of the Macedon please check out the website at peppermintos.com and you can uh, have this information from the blogs to about to their press release and of course their users guide and the community support if you need some community uh, support on your uh, OS so we also have this uh, peppermint hub which is right here it has this uh, peppermint hub you can check out their uh, network printer this utility even the system info as you can see uh, right now let me move that one so it is basically running at 6.1.0-9 amd64 kernel linux and it is just uh, uh, uptime of 10 minutes just a while ago and the bash scripts is also 5.2.15 plus some packages over 1638 packages and of course my desktop environment is fxce 4.18 and i'm running an amd ryzen 7 5200u with region graphics so as you can see that is my uh, hardware so that is my system so let me see uh, let me see if uh, we could go to the system settings so about me of course how about appearance I want to know so we have some style right here so you can change the style from the icons at the same time your font and your settings you can change your background if you want to uh, let me so they only have this four types of desktop uh, background uh, of course they have only less and you can always uh, look for some other uh, 
style of desktop wallpaper but they only have like four of this from the mountains to the uh, waterfalls and of course we also have some Japan and of course we have the peppermint so you can change your icons same time if you want to we also have some notification uh, what kind of notification that we could like uh, uh, set we have the default but we have the different types like the bright the retro smoke and the ZOMG <laughs> their themes so let me see okay how about the retro yeah something like that how about this one the, sm the smoke uh panel yeah display one display two yeah panel appearance uh, solid colors background blah 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 thing and on this side of course let's go back to the windows tweaks we also have focus uh, abilities workspace and so on so forth of course display actually i was like about to 1080 but uh i think it is too small so i just uh do the 900 the resolution but it's still in the widescreen aspect which is 16 by 9 ratio of course the scale is one is to one refresh is still in 60 rotation nope i didn't rotate even reflect nope keywords at the same time uh, yeah, you have the layout right here but if you want to use not the default you can also change this one uh, you can look for something new right here if, if you want to have a Filipino just just like who am I <laughs> right now so I use uh, the Filipino uh, let me see the mouse setting the uh, acceleration behavior and the theme of the mouse yeah I'm okay with that one uh, power management let me see uh, how about the application what kind of application do we have so we have the accessories from the clipboard to application finder to the screenshot uh, task manager so we have the task manager right here so we only have uh, two to three percent process and the memory is just only 10 it is very minimum actually uh, let me see uh, let's go to the graphics graphics as of course it's just the scanner internet the kumu uh, of course and the multimedia we have the volume controls and office of course the calendar and the global time settings of course the desktop and blah 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 how about the software i didn't uh, check the software yet the software package manager later Let's take a look into this one uh system we have the editor synoptic package manager of course this is the software manager the terminal of course g parted Now let's go to the package manager. So so let's try to see if I could like download the Firefox. So we have Firefox right here. Let's click that one. Mark for installation. Mark as installation. Click apply. Download yes okay and there's to that one so it is now downloading for the firefox software and it is successful okay let's close that one we have some error but let's try to see if firefox is already here all right we are now in the firefox uh, uh, web browser so 
yep let's uh, go to the peppermint again so as you can see this is the peppermint website so it's okay uh, let's try to see if what can we see inside this peppermint website so they have also the f uh, screenshots and comments from the community that contributed and at the same time tested the peppermint so kind of cool right so it's already installed yeah so that is the application center uh, of course it is just a small uh, type of applications right here not too big that is why they have the so-called less is more theme <laughs> Let me see if I could like uh, download the Neo Fetch if they have the Neo Fetch. Yes, they have the Neo Fetch. So, yeah. This is a very small kind of uh, uh, operating system. So let's go to the disk. So the disk is just occupying s a small portion. So not too much. Let me see what can we see in our application. So it's very, very small. You can use the menu, uh, start menu right here. But at the same time, you can uh, go and right click the mouse and use the shortcut keys right here to see and looking for for your application. So we have the internet right here. You can see we have the Firefox and the Kumo. And at the same time, we have the log out and about our FXCE PEP OS. Yeah, they try to minimize the word peppermint because it's a little bit like long. So they were like using the PEP OS. Yeah, the PEP OS peppermint. So on our desktop panel right here we have the quick launch right here the start menu button uh, we also have the notification as you can see we have the internet the power supply which is our power management uh, we also have what's this the peppermint update and some of the notification do not disturb we could like uh, turn off the notification area right here we are also have the volumes and the uh, time and date yeah so of course we also have the icons right here which is the peppermint installer so what can I say? Uh, conclusion on to this peppermint. Uh, well, it's a little bit like harder for the newcomer, especially if you are not uh, familiar with Linux. And at the same time, it is not for beginners like the Windows. Uh, uh, who are from Windows so I think peppermint is a little bit like uh, for the a little bit like knowledgeable onto this uh, so-called Linux operating system at the same time this is very lightweight so uh, if you're using uh, Linux lightweight distros uh, you're always constantly using some of the shortcut keys and same time you have the knowledge on uh, how to navigate the Linux com uh, the Linux uh, operating system especially we are using the FXCE right now so yeah there you have it the FXCE desktop environment which is very lightweight uh, we have the information right here copyright blah 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 thing so yeah this is not for the beginners this is a little bit like uh, uh, has knowledge on Linux FXCE desktop environment so anyway that's it for now I'm Blair for your OS I'll be plugging in new stuff coming in 
and of course if you have some questions into your Linux journey please let me know in the comments down below if you have some comments and what you want to know on this uh, desktop environment FXCE PEP OS or Peppermint operating system Linux GNU oh no GNU Linux <laughs> kernel OS so this is Blair saying bye for now your science teacher catch another episode of OS next time as we ponder and continue to search for knowledge and remember that science means knowing that's why science is cool ciao Oh, yeah, let's use this one.